of course, I talked to people I knew uh, who knew Feynman as well, um, very good man, but also Freeman Dyson. I spent, uh, I had already, well, I knew Freeman and I'd spent a term at the Institute of Rand Study in Princeton. We used to have lunch every day and he was a real contrarian. Freeman Dyson was uh, an amazing, amazing contrarian, an amazing scientist mm. and, and intellect. And he was probably the person who in some sense made Feynman famous in a way among the physics community because Feynman's the work that Feynman ultimately won the Nobel Prize for, Dyson translated it into a way that everyone could understand. And um, anyway, he revered Feynman. He was sort of like, he wasn't Feynman's student, but he, he certainly revered Feynman in that sense. Anyway, I, I remember sending Freeman, uh, talking to Freeman about the book and um, and sending him the book. Now, everything I'd sent Freeman before that, I used to write for the New York Times all the time when we were together. And he, I'd bring it to him that day at lunch and he'd read it and say, this is awful. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you're totally wrong about this or that. No matter what it was, I was wrong because he was a contrarian. 